Yo, what is up guys, Punkers here, and today I am back bringing you guys a brand new video, and today we're going to be doing something a little different and new, so I'm going to start a new series today called Storytime with Punk, or, you know, Storytime with Punk, or something like that, but basically I'm going to roll some gameplay in the background, kind of just tell like a funny story, or an interesting story, you know, from my past, something a little funny, make it a little interesting and kind of personal on my channel, you know, rather than just pure gameplay or pure tips and tricks with no really personality to it. And so today, my very first story is going to be called like, the, Car the Crazy Camp Counselor or something like that. But uh, what you're watching in the background is uh, just regular Team Scrim, actually. I wasn't even planning on using this gameplay. Um, but when I needed a gameplay, I found this in my recycle bin from earlier today. And I thought, might as well. You know, I didn't go extraordinarily. Like, I didn't do like really, really well, but we were off host. And it was a pretty close hard point. So I thought, I thought you know, I might as well just put this in here. But, uh, so yeah, the crazy camp counselor, but uh, before we get into it, I want to say, you know, I'm sick, you know, I'm not, <laughs> I guess, sick. <coughs> you can hear right there. I'm still coughing a little bit, though, and sniffling, so I do apologize if that happens, like I've said in my past couple of videos. But, uh, the crazy camp counselor, so... Um, I've been to a camp, I'm not going to say the name of the camp for obvious reasons, but I went to a camp when I was younger, and when it got to be, when, it, when I got old enough, you know, I started to be a counselor, you know, of this camp. I wasn't really a counselor, actually, I was a counselor in training, which is called CIT, and, uh, you know, after you did two weeks of being a CIT, then you'd come back the next summer for a counselor for, like, two months or a month, something like that, and I ended up not doing that for a few reasons, which you'll actually maybe think about after I tell this story, but, um, so... I was there for two weeks, and during those two weeks, uh, you know, most people go for a month, and so, uh, you know, most campers are there for a month, so I'm there for half the time the campers come. What they actually do is have half the CITs come uh, the first two weeks of the month, and half the CITs come the second two weeks, and then it kind of works the same way with second term as well, because I was, you know, always a first term kid, and, uh... So I was there for the first two weeks, I got assigned to a cabin, everything was great, and there were three uh, three other counselors in the cabin with me. One guy, uh, you know, I, I don't know if I should use a name or not, it doesn't really matter, because I don't really, it, it was not even that bad of a story, it's just pretty funny. Uh, I think one guy's name was, Car was Carson, one guy's was Christian, the other one I can't even remember, but uh, the one we want to talk about today is Carson, and I'm not, I don't even know 100% if that's his name, but we'll say Carson for the sake of the video. But, uh, you know, these guys were kind of party guys, you know, they weren't, like, really party, like, go crazy, you know, get wild. But they did, like, to have a good time, and what I found out when I became a CIT was that actually after dark, as long as one counselor was stayed in the cabin, the other ones would go out and they would just go out drinking with the other counselors. They'd hang out outside of the cabins and just go drink. And I actually had no idea that that went down. You know, none of the kids did. It was something you found out when you were a counselor, which is crazy because usually those types of things usually end up in the ears of, you know, the campers. You find out somehow. But I never found this out, and so I was kind of surprised at the time. But uh, the CITs kind of did it too. And so one night... Um, I ended up going out with some of the other, other CITs, we were hanging out on a porch, I think it was Cabin Double Zero, we were hanging on the Cabin Double Zero porch, we had like some chairs, we were chilling out, we were eating snacks, and we were just hanging, and um, I think my counselor, who actually, I didn't really like at the time, um, you know, I thought he was just kind of full of himself when he shouldn't be, you know, he was a short guy, uh, he was 19, kind of scrawny, like not scrawny, but just like pretty short, he seemed like he could beat anyone up, you know, they're that kid who thinks he can beat anyone up, but probably can't, and I didn't really like him that much, but... Uh, he kind he came up, and I kind of like I kind of oh god I just started so hard, but I saw his figure coming up, um you know in the shadows. It was pretty late. It's probably like midnight, and um he came up and he asked. He said like Where's my CIT? And I could tell immediately that he had been drinking a lot. Just like the way he talks, and um, he was kind of like droopy a little bit, and. Uh, I was kind of like, uh, right here, and I was like, yeah, 100%, like, he's about to, like, mess with me or something, because I'm just, like, sitting around with the other, like, my friends, you know, other CITs, and he comes up, and he's like, why aren't you in the fucking cabin, and I'm over here, like, uh, I don't know, like, Christian's in there, I'm just hanging out, and then all of a sudden, he just, he just like, shoves some drink into my hand, and it was a doctor, by <laughs> oh my god, <coughs> god, sorry about that, guys, it was a, <coughs> Dang, I can barely talk when I'm coughing this much. But it was a, a Dr. Pepper can filled with God knows what. I don't know what was in there at the time. He said, drink this. You won't, pussy. And I'm over here kind of like, uh, whatever. So I kind of fake drank it in the dark. You know, I didn't even know what was in the cup or the can. I didn't want to chug it. It was like completely full. It was overflowing. I was kind of like, screw this. Like, I, I, I didn't like, I didn't feel peer pressure or anything. Like, I didn't, I didn't care. He was a scrawny little kid. Like, the other counselors liked me, and they didn't really like him. I was like, I don't need the approval of this guy. Like, like get out of my face, dude. And 
he ends up saying like yo i'm going like there's another like counselor party somewhere else something he walks away and i'm just like god that guy's freaking weird and um so that was like the very first part of the story and i ended up going back to my cabin like an hour later you know people were kind of going to bed i was tired i had to be up early the next morning because we were training to be counselors so we had a lot of stuff we had to do and um i went back to the cabin i laid down you know went to sleep everything was good and i wake up and uh it's carson and he is standing over my bed and he's shaking my shoulder and he says yo come here dude i'm like what he's like yo you gotta come with me dude there's a big party going on me you gotta come and i'm just like oh, I'm, I'm asleep dude because you don't want like you're asleep like there's, you, want, you don't want to do anything you want to you want to go back to sleep that's all you want to do is go back to sleep and he just says yo there's a big party man come here like everyone's gonna be there it's gonna be so fun and i was like nah man like i'm good like go, go, let me go back to sleep and he's like you come on and i was like nah i like i don't want to i want to go back to sleep and he's like all right dude you're lost and he leaves and i was like all right and i went back to sleep and I don't know how much longer or how much later it was, but I wake up to Carson jumping on the foot of my bed. Now, let me just like paint the picture for you. I think that there was a, a bunk, a bunk bed, literally a two feet away from the foot of my bed with camper, with a camper on the bottom and a camper on the top. And these guys were maybe in like fifth grade. And I have this 19 year old jumping on the foot of my bed and I can look up and he has the biggest smile on his face. You know, I don't really remember if there was like maybe like a nightlight on for the kids or something, but he had like the biggest smile on his face. And he gets down, he's like, dude, that was so much fun. You should have been there. And I was like, yeah, I bet, dude, bet it was cool. And he's like, oh my God, dude, you should have been there. Everyone like was having such a good time. I was like, great, man. Like, I go back to sleep, he was like, yeah, 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 and he was like hyped, and I was like, alright, dude, so I go back to sleep, I wake up again to the feeling of something hitting me, and, I'll, and all of a sudden I look over, and there's a Bubba Keg, now if you guys know what, don't know what like, a Bubba Keg is, it's pretty much like a giant water bottle, it's really like, it's really like the shape of a keg, you've ever seen a keg, it's kind of, I don't even know how to describe it, it's kind of like the shape of a barrel, but it was like a little, like, it was like a little mini keg, pretty much made out of metal, and he threw it at me, he says, yo, that was your friends, he left it outside, and that thing was filled with like alcohol and something else or not alcohol tea and something else obviously it was an alcohol mixed with tea i don't remember what it was and it spilled all over my bed like half a thing half a bubba keg which is huge i maybe say like 16 ounces of this i don't even know what it was spilled all over my bed and i had no idea what it was and all i knew was it smelled so much like out it smelled like reeked of alcohol guys just reeked of it and i was like oh just F me, dude. Like, my bed reeks of alcohol. I'm two feet away from my campers. Someone's sure to realize this, and I'm just gonna get in so much trouble. So I try I, I try to, like, get, get a towel and wipe it up. Nothing's working. So, like, alright, dude. No, I'm going to sleep, man. Screw this. I'm dealing with it in the morning. And so... <coughs> I go to sleep, I wake up one more time in the middle of the night, and Carson is standing over me, and he has a cup in his hand, I'm like, dude, like, what the fuck do you want? At that point, I am pissed, like, I'm literally mad, because this guy is just making me so pissed at him, I just, I'm just unbelievably angry, I want to go to sleep, this guy is pissing me off, and he throws his cup at me, which also is half filled of, I don't even know, I just hit my mic, I sorry, I don't even know what's in it, you know, that, that spills on me, at that point, I'm just like, dude, F, like, screw it, man. I'm going back to sleep. I don't care. Go back to sleep. Wake up the next morning. For some reason, my bed didn't smell like alcohol. Like, I don't know why, but I know that there was alcohol in that Bubba keg. And for some reason, my bed just didn't really smell like it. I don't know why. The next morning, I'm telling, like, Christian, who's another counselor, and he's like, dude, that guy's such an ass, man. Like, don't worry about it. <coughs> what ends up happening is somehow the story gets around like I wasn't telling people to tell on him I was just telling people because it was interesting it was like what the hell did my night just go to and so there's there's um uh, I don't really know what you call it I think it was kind of like the head of the camp pretty much his name was Scott and um basically the story got around and I had a camper about a fourth grade camper come up to me and say did Scott throw a bubba keg at you and I was like, oh man, this story's gotten way out of line. And so I ended up clearing it all up, and it was no big deal. But guys, that has been the first episode of Storytime with Punk. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to drop a like below if you did. If you want to see more of these in the future. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Put a like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Let me know if you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.